raise your drinks up casually. Raise your drinks, raise your drinks up, raise your drinks up casually. It's the Black Bourbon Family. Hey everyone, I'm Jason. And I'm Brandy. And we're the Black, Black Bourbon, Bourbon Family. Family. Today, you all, you know, we are getting close to what I would call Brandy, uh, Bourbon Mania. <laughs> 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 it's that time of the year where we're getting close to that time of the year where all of the highly allocated and maybe not so allocated bourbons are coming out and people are going to be like what should I be trying to get right mm -hmm. so many things out there so many things to choose from and quite honestly you may get a shot at one because you may win a raffle or enter into a raffle or whatever the case you may you may <laughs> right we never won a raffle before no. we've gotten lucky with the store that we go to and we did a video and if you haven't seen it uh we'll put the link above it's a bourbon hunting in chicago but anyway um there's so many bourbons going to be coming out uh here soon and we want to provide you with our 10 bourbons that we are going to be hunting for for the remainder of the year now i will say that you may see some bourbons on this list that we've talked about and it's not that we're hunting for them specifically but we feel you should be hunting for because they are that good and without further ado i'm gonna start so the first bourbon that i and we brandy and i or we feel you should be hunting for yeah me probably <laughs> me is green river foolproof this is a bourbon that had been has been released already i have not seen it in the stores yet but I've heard great things about it. It's about $50, Brandy. But I've heard... Mixed drinks. Oh, mixed drinks, maybe. You know? <laughs> Who knows? But I've heard great things about it. And uh, Green River, they've been making some noise in the industry. And I feel like it's one of those ones you should hunt for. Because I'm going to be hunting for pretty soon. Okay. All right, Brandy. All right. What do you have? Let's see. I have mm -hmm. a new dine. <laughs> <laughs> new dine is a new bourbon. No pun intended. <laughs> a new bourbon mm -hmm. on the market is six years, straight from the grain to bottle mm -hmm. or to glass, mm -hmm. and um, straight out of New York. Mm -hmm. Yes, I said New York, mm -hmm. and um, <laughs> but it is great. So I think that um, it definitely is something that you should be hunting for. Totally agree. And I'll just give a plug. If you haven't seen our review on it, check it out. You'll post the link right here. <laughs> <laughs> she knows me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So the next one that I have is Jack Daniels 14 year bourbon. So we had the, and we have the Jack Daniels 12 year bourbon. We do. Mm -hmm. But when I found out, Brandy, mm -hmm. that there was a Jack Daniels 14 year, and I believe it's coming in at like 120 something proof. I don't know the exact uh, proof. I don't even know the price of it. But when I heard Jack Daniels 14 year, I was like, this is something I have to try to find, right? So that is, and if you know Jack Daniels, they did good with the 12 year, the 10 year, and all the other special releases. So the 14 year, it has to be good, right? Yeah. <laughs> Randy like, yeah, just go find it. <laughs> And let's drink it. <laughs> yeah. Let me try out. Right. Let, you know, let me try it and I'll let you know. <laughs> All right. Okay. So what do you have next, Brandy? I have Russell Reserve 15 year. 15 year. So I'm a fan mm -hmm. of Russell. Wait, say it again, Brandy. I'm a fan mm -hmm. 
Russell, can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fan. I don't know if Russell is there, but <laughs> somebody hearing you. <laughs> so I, I will, you know, just only guess that mm. the 15 year is going to be great. Yeah. I mean, yeah. If we can get our hands on it. Right. Can, can you hear me? Right. Maybe maybe that's to uh, even though the guy at the, the liquor store, his name not Russell, but we are gonna say <laughs> Russell. That's his name today. <laughs> Russell, can you hear us? <laughs> we we need the fifteen here, Russell. We're looking for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> so the next one that I have is something that was actually scheduled to come out last year, but it's finally coming out, supposedly, this year. E.H. Taylor, Barrel Proof Ride. So, Brandy and I, I was about to just blame it on Brandy. I, you, you know she I was, heard it I was, giving, I was giving you that look, like, <laughs> what, what? <laughs> We are both huge fans of E.H. Taylor. We like the small batch. We like the single barrel. We love the barrel proof bourbon, mm -hmm. right? And so. What I see of it, but go ahead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the barrel proof rye is something that I'm really looking forward to, especially because it's been delayed for a year. And you know, I even uh, talked to uh, Russell, <laughs> <laughs> and I asked, you know, oh, hey, um, how many requests have you have for this uh, E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof Ride? <laughs> he said a few. I said, okay, well, um, add my name to the <laughs> list <laughs> because that's one that I'm really looking forward to. All right, Brandon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got um, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. C924. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you think it can match up mm -hmm. to the C923? That's the question, Brandy. You know, the know. the first two of this year have been good, but we always know that the last one. They perfect that one, huh? Practice makes perfect. <laughs> That's my line. I like to use that line. No. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah, you know, that was our bourbon of the year for 2023. Mm. C923. So, what about 924? If we can get our hands on it. Hey, Russell. <laughs> Russell. <laughs> And if you all can do us a favor, here's what we forgot to mention. First off, if you give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and follow us on Instagram. But let us know what bourbons are you hunting? And of all the bourbons that you're looking for, what, what is the number one bourbon on your list? Okay? And maybe we'll tell, you'll give your number one and I'll give my number one, okay? So okay. we'll, we got some time to think about it. All right. All right. So the next one that I have, I'm going back to Jack Daniels. Mm. So a couple years ago, they released this bourbon, and we really enjoyed it. And now I'm hearing they're releasing a single barrel version of it again. It is the Koi Hill. So, Koi Hill, when we first got that one, I was like, oh my goodness. The bananas. Yes. It was bananas. And not tasting the smell like bananas. It was just great. Right? Bananas. Okay, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I just heard, or I found out a while ago, that they are planning to release another Koi Hill. Russell, can you hear us? Russell. <laughs> Mr. Russell. <laughs> I think I'm going to send this video to Mr. Russell. You're not supposed to 
stop talking. Oh, I'm just oh, gonna oh, call bad. to Russell. My bad, my bad, my bad. So Koi Hill by Jack Daniels, a single barrel, and it said like special release, blah blah blah. I'm not sure of the proof. I'm not sure of the price. But I am sure that I want it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All so right. next we got A. Smith Bowman Castro. Mm. Yeah, we haven't had this one in, you know, since the original. What was that, 2021? Yeah, Brandy. Mm. We need some more Russell. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we... Um, that one was good. Very good. I remember that one. Was that our bur? I think that was our bourbon of the year for 2021. I believe so. I yeah, it was. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> that one was good. So yeah, so the A. Smith Bowman mm -hmm. cast. I won't sing my song. Please don't. Please don't. So oh, we'll boy. just leave it at that. Okay, I'm gonna just in interrupt her because she's gonna start singing that song. Um, so but see, it's not the same one as the other one, okay? But, but I, I don't think everyone wants to hear that one, and we don't want them to click away, we want them to stay with us and watch and hear the last couple that we have left, okay? I can hold it to them, yes, you can. But so, the next one, you all, this is one that we were not aware of how good it was, but once we tried it, we said we gotta not only tell people how good it is. But also, <laughs> tell people they need to hunt for this one. Garrison Brothers Lady Bird. It's a originally four to five year bourbon, then finished in honey barrels for about eight to nine months, and then finished in XO cognac cask. So you're talking about an eight to nine year old bourbon with honey and cognac. And by the way, this is what I'm sipping on right now. Very good and highly, highly, yeah, Brandy, I know she's sipping on too. Highly recommend you all hunt for that. It is so good, so good. And it was our first time trying Garrison Brothers, but not our last. Absolutely not. All right, Brandy, so what do you have for the last bourbon to hunt for in 2024? Hmm. Mm-hmm. What do people say? Uh -huh. Um, Bombers. Mm-hmm. Hey. Can't go wrong with it. <laughs> <laughs> Can never go wrong with Bombers. I mean... This is this is always a great bourbon to try. Yeah. So, um, you know, definitely want to check out and try to try to grab you a bottle if you can. You know, it's... Russell. Russell. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do it. I'm sorry. He had to. But um, yeah, Bomb Burgers. Yeah. I mean, Bomb Burgers is one of those ones that when we first had it, we said it is so under like represented or it was a certain word we use I, I feel like just people don't know about bomb burgers we didn't know about it <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> i think who told us Bur bourbon judge bourbon judge told bourbon us about judge it told us about it so yep. yeah um that and shanks so mm -hmm. um but when he said burgers you know i love burgers <laughs> so you know i was just like i gotta love it right and she does. <laughs> Maybe you should drink bomb burgers while eating a cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, um, this was our list of 10 bourbons. What's that... your favorite? Oh, my bad. So my favorite, I'm going to say my favorite. To look for. To look for mm -hmm. is not on my list. My favorite to look for. Is the A. Smith Bowman. Oh, it's not on your list. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, so for my list, from my list, my favorite that I'm really looking forward to is the E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof Rye. Because okay. I got the Ladybird right here, so I don't have to hunt for it anymore, right? Actually, I do got to find a bottle of it, but that's a different story. Well, anyway, 
EH Taylor Barrel Proof Ride on my list. What's yours on your list? Oh my gosh, I'm bound. I, you know, I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm with you on the A. Smith Bowman. Mm -hmm. But, but, um, <laughs> you know, I love my Russells. <laughs> Russell. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, you know, it will be the Russell 15. The Russell 15. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right, y'all. Well, we hope that you can find at least one of your bottles. I'm hoping that we can find one of these bottles. Because it's. I know we're not going to find all of them. Let's just be clear I about that. I hope you can find two. Two. Okay. <laughs> hope you can find two. Hope we can find two then. No, we're going to find two. Oh, I'm just playing. <laughs> Go you, ahead, Russell. You heard that, didn't you? Okay. Um, uh, but no, we hope you can find at least one or two bottles that you're looking for this season. But more importantly, just enjoy the whole process of finding bourbon, enjoying bourbons with family and friends. Um, we thank you for joining us today. If you can give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Instagram. And we will talk to you next time. Cheers.